you guys line it up for Milo here. Jeremy, kick it off. Hey, Milo, you're well, man. Um, just wondering, what, what have you been doing uh, up to this point and uh, where you been and what's training been like? Um, so I was located in Scottsdale, Arizona. I was over there at Exos. I've uh, been working out for the past two months. Uh, really been, it's been, been a grind. Um, six days a week, you know, two days, you know, just getting after it, trying to, you know, eat the right thing, have meal prep and everything like that. So it's kind of where my head's been at. What are you hoping to show uh, the NFL teams tomorrow, whether it's on the field with all this or interviews, all of that? Um, just check all the boxes, you know, uh, go in there uh, with a plan, you know, which is, you know, to run a good time, run fast. You know, and really just check all the boxes. That's that's kind of what I, my pro days to pro days about. You know, they 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 look at me life they look, they're gonna see everything they need to. I, I know last year on the field for the team and, and injuries with you probably didn't go as as you hoped. So, how important does that make this even more important for you going through this? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm healthy now, so uh, injuries aren't really a problem. I mean, if teams want to know what happened, I'm, I'd be glad to tell them, but. Yeah, no, my body's been feeling good. I feel like I'm ready. And uh, I'm, I'm prepared definitely for this part of that. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, Milo, good to see you. Um, as far as uh, going to Access, I know we talked with uh, Josh Matter Baby last week about that. Uh, what went into the decision to, to pick that particular um, facility to train at? And like you said, you, you've seen some positive growth. What are some of the, the big things you've seen in yourself uh, since then from a growth perspective? Um, just the. Uh, I, why I picked Exos is that was the main headquarters. So the headquarters of the Exos program is in Arizona. Um, and like I felt most comfortable out there, you know, can't go wrong with 80 degree weather. Um, and uh, just just a matter of just comfortability. So I've been to Arizona a couple of times, you know, it feels, you know, kind of like California, but it's not home. So having like a little piece of home, that, that definitely helped. And um, while I was there, you know, um, of course, everybody wants to run fast and everything like that, but it was really like my, my eating habits and I see my body change for real. So it's like instead of eating out and getting fast food almost every night, you know, you get to really see, you know, your body develop and change and, you know, get, get leaner and everything like that. So that's kind of exciting, more exciting for me, but that was the exciting part that I felt like, like I really feel, you know, as a body, like as a whole, really stronger and, and healthier. And what does this mean to you just to have this opportunity, to, especially during a time where, you know, COVID obviously is creating a lot of uncertainty, just to have this chance to, to show out in pro day, have an opportunity to, to show professional scouts what you can do. What does it mean to you? It means the world. I mean, these guys are traveling um, hundreds of miles to see us, to see us run, you know, we we'll have to put on the show. So it's definitely, um, you know, tomorrow's a big day for me, Neha, Kendrick and Josh. So, I mean, I know we're going to take it on. Thanks, Milo. Thank you. Hey, Milo, when you left Washington, there wasn't a lot of tape. I mean, now here you are a couple of years later, you've got two seasons of game tape, you're getting ready for a pro day. I mean, what's this been, this whole process as a whole been like for you? It's been a slow grind. Um, man, if you asked me where are you seen me in four years, um, I would have told you I'm, I would not have answered that. So, uh, man, just kind of enjoying this process, but not – you know, getting too big headed and you know, saying like, hey, you know, I, I've made it already because truth be told, I, I make I make shit. So uh, going going into this pro day was kind of like that humble mentality, you know, kind of still have that chip on my shoulder. You know, these guys don't really know who Milo is yet. So uh, just uh, definitely just keep on going like that, just taking the day at a time. And hopefully, you know, somebody's going to end up picking I mean, pro, for you, how do you keep the nerves at a level base going into tomorrow, just given it's you know big opportunity to show a lot of things? Um, I mean, for me, it's like combine drills specifically haven't been a real uh, problem. I mean, as, as a, you know, come down to it, you know, you're a football player. Uh, you should be doing these drills almost every day, um, you know, aside from some something out the ordinary, but uh, Whenever I'm, you know, when we put the cleats on, it should, it should feel natural. So that's that's how I feel, how pro day is. You know, it should feel natural when I'm up there. Appreciate it, Milo. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey, Milo, you mentioned that it's been a slow grind getting to this process after transferring in from Washington. I'm sure playing in the NFL has always been a dream of yours. When did it kind of start to shift towards a reality where you kind of realized that you were kind of putting yourself in a position to, uh, to kind of you know, declare for the draft and kind of start going through that process? Um, I knew when I, when I left Washington, wherever I went, it was going to have to be a business decision because that's when I kind of started looking at it as this is going to be, you know, this is my resume. This is where I'm going to build, you know, my character up. This is where, you know, teams are going to start really paying attention to me. So kind of in that little transition period of 2018 is kind of where I had to, you know, grow up a little bit. So I was just like, wherever I go, I have to lock in and, and, and do what I have to do for a certain amount of time. But um, really towards the end of last season, um, I just felt, you know, I felt ready. Like, uh, you know, body type wise and, and, and my, my type of speed and my type of player, I just felt um, that, you know, I could transition into the NFL. And, you know, talking to, uh, talking to Coach, Coach Smith, Coach Love Smith multiple times, um, you know, just him reminding me that, you know, why I came here and, you know, why I do what I do is play football, it's what I love. Thanks, Milo. Hey, Milo, Coach Smith here. Uh, you know, position-wise and scheme-wise, is there, is there a particular type of uh, defense do you think you're the best fit? And have you taken a look at uh, teams in the NFL and, and uh, thought about some of the, some of the uh, teams that you, where you'd be a good fit? Um, I haven't, I couldn't really have a real specific answer for that, but, um, I, I'll categorize myself as like that new age linebacker. Um, you know, I can play all downs. Uh, you know, if you want me to blitz off the edge, I can. If you want me to, you know, rush the pass or drop back in coverage or, or guard somebody, play in space, you know, kind of just, like I said in the beginning, kind of checking all boxes. Um, that's kind of where, where, where I see myself out. As long as I'm on the field and, you know, a rookie linebacker coming in, the ability to play special teams is, is probably a, a pretty big thing. Is that, is that part of what you're selling to the NFL scouts? Yeah. I mean, my first few years I watched and I didn't touch the field. So, um, I mean, I have no problem playing special teams. So, uh, as far as kickoff or kickoff return, punt, punt team, um, you know, that's all I did for two years. So, uh, you know, I still have a little little bit ingrained in my, in my mind. But, I mean, just having having two years of special teams and two years of the real football kind of, you know, you don't you don't really you don't really see that. Some guys, you know, are four years special teams and barely see the field or four year starters. Like I feel like I had a you know good little beginning taste and then had a had a real experience of, uh, as a linebacker when I when I came here. Yes, yeah, scouts tomorrow they're going to want to see your cover skills. Uh, what do you bring to the field uh, against the passing game? Uh, I feel like I just bring fluidity. You know, a lot of guys at my size um, can't really get, you know, get up in and out the breaks. So uh, I feel like, you know, when, I, when I'm on the field, it's, it's, it's natural, like I said before. Thanks, Mule. Thank you. Hey, Mila, I'm curious, uh, you know, your, your story is that you're a high schooler who goes to a football summer camp, not knowing much about football, and you put up massive numbers that starts getting you, I believe you started getting college offers before your first ever football game, just based on camp numbers. So yeah. with that backstory, do you see tomorrow as a similar kind of thing of like, you know, this is my chance to open a lot of eyes? Um, definitely my chance to open a lot of eyes. Um you know, with, with, you know, with the combine drills and, and like the Nike spark ratings and all that, they're kind of a similar thing. Um, you know, I just want to go in there just level-headed um, and really just, just focus on on the task at hand, wherever it is, if, whatever it's the 40 or the bench or, you know, kind of just go, go at a systematic pace and not really, you know, get too ahead of myself. And when we talked about that moment before, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I, I believe – I mean, like you're high, sophomore in high school or whatever, you, you had a focus on other sports and this and that. People t encourage you to go to this camp and then this. And then football becomes your thing, and here you are sitting here before your pro day. You know, what's the journey been like from uh, what's this sport about to, okay, now I'm, I have my pro day tomorrow? Um, no, looking back on it, uh, man, I'm just, I'm just trying to take everything in right now. So it's like, 
man, just in December, I graduated college. So it's like everything's, you know, happening, um, you know, with COVID, you know, things aren't moving as fast as, you know, they used to. But I mean, I'm still still trying to take it in. Um, so it's just like taking it day by day, really, you know, with, with, with no school now, it's like all, I'm all in on football. So finding, you know, trying to find two things and, and you know, kind of getting my own little schedule and, and, and regimen, that's kind of where I've been, been kind of trying to find my new, new little niche. As I recall, you tested out at that high school combine as like the number two athlete of the entire, you know, West Coast or whatever. What, what, do you remember what drills you excelled at that day? Um, yeah, I jumped like like 40 inches on a vert. I remember that. Uh, and I don't know what I ran in the 40, but like I did I did something cool. Uh, but I was like 17, 16 years old, probably like 200 pounds, if that. Um, but no, I remember that day. I, I still had a picture on my phone. I got the little spark and everything. But I feel like that day, that day right there definitely changed my life. Thanks. Anybody else? All good? Thank you, guys. Thank you.